Hey guys, what is up? So today we're gonna be doing the roasted pork belly, okay? So this is gonna be one of the most crispiest, juiciest, and flavorful um, recipe that you'll get. And now it's important to go to your local butcher and make sure you get a fresh piece of pork belly because if it's frozen, then the moisture will be locked in the skin and you won't get crispy skin, okay? So let's go make this amazing pork belly recipe or known as suji yuk or fo yuk in Chinese language. Okay, so let's go. All right guys, so let's start with our pork belly. So I got a three pound pork belly right here and it's a really nice piece of meat. So when you're buying your pork belly, you wanna make sure that the fat is not too fatty or too lean, okay? And then next thing you wanna do with it is beat the living out of it okay you want to make sure it's tender and get all your anger out of that piece of meat whatever it has annoyed you through the day just smash it with your hands and tenderize the meat all right just already start thinking about what makes you mad all right and when you get this piece of meat just beat it up okay but after that you know, these, these um, pork skin has hair on it, right? So we're gonna have to get rid of that hair because we don't want to eat that. So you can see there's a little bit of hair on it and we're literally gonna burn the skin off, okay? Not, not the entire skin off, but whatever it is, just open your fire, take the, uh, the top of it off and just rub the piece of meat against the fire, okay? This will burn the hair particles on top and make the skin smooth. Like so, just keep on doing it, rotate it, whatever you need to do to burn all the hair off. All right, now we're gonna make our spice ratio. So we're gonna use around one and three quarter teaspoon of Chinese five spice. We're gonna use one to two dashes of white pepper, just right in. And then we're gonna use one teaspoon of salt in it and just give it a quick mix. After that, get two teaspoons of brown sugar and combine it in as well. And then now we're gonna rub it with some Chinese cooking wine. So pour some in a small bowl and get yourself a barbecue brush and we're gonna brush the meat with the Chinese cooking wine. Just like so, make sure it's not too, too drenched or not too, too dry because we want the spices to stick on this and do it all around, make sure you get the sides as well. And then after that, we're gonna get our spices. All right, we're just gonna evenly lather the spices around, make sure you get it all around that nooks and cranny, and make sure not too, not too many spots are left bland, okay? All right guys, after you're done with that, just lay down a piece of uh, tin foil and you're just gonna wanna put the pork in the middle and then basically square it up. So just fold the sides up, shape it, and make sure there's not too big of a gap. After that, you're just gonna wanna get a metal, uh, metal fork or a skewer and just, you wanna stab the heck out of the top, okay? This will help make the pork really crispy and release the moisture in the fridge. So just do this like a hundred times and get all your anger out, okay? All right, once you have finished jabbing the top off, just put it in a plate and we're just gonna throw it in the fridge for overnight. I'm gonna do around 12 hours because I have time, but you could do eight to up to 24 hours if you want. So just put it in your fridge and make sure you put it on the bottom shelf because you don't want any meat juice dripping down on any food. So make sure it's on the bottom. 
All right, now we're gonna cook our pork belly. So just put it on a uh, sheet to bake it on and make sure it has like little borders in it just in case juices leak out of the tin foil. And we got our kosher salt. You could use rock salt as well. And we're gonna lay the salt on top. So we're gonna start off with five tablespoons of salt and lay it on top. But if we need more, we can always add more. So just go ahead, get a tablespoon or anything, and just sprinkle it on top. You don't want any pink showing through. If you see any pink showing through the salt, then you're doing something wrong. Then you would, of course, add more salt to that spot. So just go ahead, evenly spread the salt. All right, after you have finished topping off your salt, we're gonna go ahead and start baking it. Another method you could do is um, bake this for around 30 minutes at 100 degrees to extract the moisture without the salt, but I am not doing that method. We're gonna do 400 degrees for 35 minutes. So go ahead and just throw it right in and look at this. This is around the halfway mark, halfway mark and you can see the salt is starting to peel off and look how gorgeous the piece of meat is. Now our timer is done, we're gonna go ahead, remove it, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the salt layer. So just go ahead, put it on your table, and just remove the salt thing off. It should come out in one piece and just throw it in the sink or something. After that, we're gonna remove it from the tin foil, put it in a plate, and go ahead and wipe the excess salt off the top. Next thing, we're gonna lay down another piece of tin foil, add a rack to make it elevated so the oil can drip off the pork. Just go ahead and wipe it off. And to make this a little bit crispier, we got some vinegar. So we're today, today we're gonna be using rice vinegar. Just get a towel, just dab it on like that. You don't want it too, too wet. Just make it a little bit moist. Go ahead, 400 degrees for 12 minutes. And this is the ideal time for my oven. If it's not done like, like this, just put on a high broil temperature for around six to nine minutes until it is done bubbling. As you can see, the skin is starting to bubble, which looks amazing. And this is our final product. Look how amazing the skin looks. It is so crispy and it looks so delicious right now. Make sure you take your temperature inside and if it's not done, then leave it in for around another three to five minutes. Now we're just gonna let this sit for at least five minutes and we got some hoisin sauce. And when it's done, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting it. And you can hear how crispy it is. Just go ahead, cut it around one and a half inch um, strips, and then just cut into any thickness you would like the pork into. I like to do very thin because it it's hard to eat a big cube of pork. Mmm, amazing. Eight out of ten, amazing, okay? Well, that's it, guys. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe.